Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a 2021 Cimarron Northstar four horse gooseneck. Cool thing about this trailer is we took this four horse and we loaded it up with a bunch of options and you guys will see why just here in a minute. So this trailer is extra tall, extra wide. It's 7'4 tall, 7'6 wide, about 24 feet on the floor. So you're going to have plenty of room in this trailer for you know your extra tall horses, your bigger, you know, your draft type horses. And we'll start off, we'll just kind of walk around this one, show you guys all the options we went ahead and added. Working our way up here under the nose, we'll notice there's a spare tire. That spare tire does have an aluminum wheel on it, just like the rest of the tires around this trailer. That way, if you do blow a tire or something like that and you do need to swap it, you do have a matching tire going on the road, keeping the trailer looking just as nice as it would if you wanted to blow the tire. Next to that tire, we do have your electric hydraulic jack. It's an equalizer system jack. Cool thing about it is if you ever do lose battery power for some reason, there is an override and you can manually override that jack so you're not stuck at the show or the rodeo or the trailhead somewhere. Up above that hydraulic jack is our battery box. That battery box, what it does is it powers the lights on your trailer, but it also powers that hydraulic jack. I can show you guys what it looks like on the inside too. There's the inside of that battery box. You can add another battery if you want a little more juice. Um, that just kind of keeps your batteries out of the weather. And also, for some reason, if that battery ends up to take a turn and corrode and blow up or leak or something like that, it kind of keeps all that contained inside that box too. It is a vented box, so it keeps that battery heat down too. Up to the right of that battery box is your control for your electric hydraulic jack. It's simple, it's up, down, there's kind of a key for it. I think it's cool they put a key on them. I haven't seen them without a key yet. The reason they do that is because typically if you can't run that jack, you can't steal the trailer really. Um, someone does come to steal the trailer, you don't really have to worry about your uh, manual override as much because a lot of people don't know how to work the manual order override on these systems. There's a special little knob you got to turn inside there that will let you eventually use that jack. So that's kind of all the contents up there underneath the nose of this trailer. Here on the tail side of this trailer, we do have an extra wide. This is about a 42 inch door on this trailer. Went ahead and made that door extra wide. We also do have a swing out saddle rack and a swing out blanket bar. Cool thing about this saddle rack is this three post saddle rack, these are fully adjustable. You can add as many as you want that can fit here. You can also adjust them to whatever height you want. If you have someone really short, you can put them lower. If you need to space your saddles out more, you can spread them out. It runs on a gas piston, so it's super easy to run. It kind of safely takes itself back in, and if you start pulling it, it'll kind of pull itself out. Same thing with your blanket bar. It's a four-tier blanket bar, and it does run on a gas piston as well. Below that is just a brush box for, you know, sprays, brushes, anything like that. Cool thing I want to show you guys is kind of the benefit of making this door 42 inches versus your standard on a swing out because you'll notice just how much space is in between that saddle rack and the door. You can safely get in here with a full saddle, with whatever you need to take in here. You're not gonna have to worry about trying to scoot by a door or scoot by a saddle rack. Above the door, we do have a 16 inch awning light. We kind of loaded this trailer up with a little bit more options than we normally do. It's got a bunch of lights on it for saddle and horses. A bunch of lights kind of keep it looking flashy. But you'll see once we take a step in this tack room why I said this trailer is a super cool setup and why we added a bunch of options. So inside this trailer you'll notice, first thing you notice is you can walk all the way through this trailer and there's a mirrored setup on the other side. You have the same swing and saddle rack, same blanket, blanket bars and your same brush box. And we'll show you guys that here in a second. But up here in the nose, it's fully car carpeted gooseneck deck. Um, you can throw a mattress up there. We do run these trailers free pre-framed for AC, so if for some reason you do end up want to throw an AC in here, it's framed and ready to go. You just pay to have the unit installed. Below that gooseneck deck is a boot box. It's carpeted. Again, just keeping stuff in here, brushes, boxes, tack, uh, splint boots, stuff like that. You can keep them out of the way, out of your trailer, and keep them not cluttered, and so you're that way you're not tripping over stuff when you're saddling horses. It also makes a handy little step up in that nose if you need to get up there. Above that we do have a shelf with a clothes rod. This shelf does have a lip on it so you can throw hats up there, whatever you need to keep, get up there and they won't fall. They won't be laying on the floor when you get where you're going. There's a nice little about inch and a half lip to keep whatever you got in there falling off. Clothes rod super nice. You can hang clothes on there, hang whatever you need there, cords, hoses, anything like that that you want to keep off the floor and kind of keep from rolling around again, keep them from cluttering up and keeping stuff from the trip on. So we talked a little bit about that gas piston that holds this whole saddle rack. 
So that holds that in place while it's going in the road, but it also assists you in taking the saddle rack out. You can let it go. It lets it go out safely for the trailer. But also behind that, you'll notice there is a 25 gallon water tank in this trailer as well. Having this water tank, it really lets you carry your home water with you. I've had a lot of horses I know that I get somewhere and they don't like to drink. You can't get them to drink no matter what kind of water you try to get. You add supplement, they still won't drink. Sometimes horses just get used to the water they're drinking at home and it's really hard for them to drink when you're you know, at a rodeo, at a show, at a trailhead. Cool thing about this is if you are a trail rider or you do like endurance races and stuff like that, a lot of the times you're going to a trailhead in the middle of the mountains, there's not a lot of water access. Having the ability to just make sure you always have fresh water for your horses I think is super, super needy. Here on the partition wall of this trailer, we went ahead and we fully carpeted it. Again, just keeping this aluminum nice and fresh looking in this uh, front tack is going to be our main goal. By fully carpeting this, it kind of keeps your bridles from rubbing on that aluminum, but also anything you have on the ground. You have a lot of space in this front tack, so we set it up so we can kind of have some totes in here if you need totes in here, saddles on the ground if you run out of saddle racks. I mean, we wanted you to have as much space as possible in this front tack. And by carpeting this wall, we give you the option to start stacking stuff against the wall without really scratching anything up as well. We went ahead and we added two rows of full bridle hooks. So you have your top row and your bottom row. Typically there's only, there's only about two sets of these. So you'd have about six hooks in the front, maybe six in the back. Right here you have about you know eight sets of bridle hooks. So you have a lot of storage and a lot of different options to help you guys. I'll swing this one in and we'll jump out and go out the other side. The thing I want to point out before I jump out is if you look above me, we went ahead and we upgraded all the lighting in this trailer to the OptiBright lights. And these super cool LED lights. Um, they put out a lot more light than your typical, you know, just flick switch LED or your single bulb. Put out a lot more light. They don't take as much power as you'd think, and they look super flashy on this trailer. So here on your driver's side of this trailer, it's pretty much going to mirror that passenger side or this head side of this trailer. You do have that same fold-out four-tier blanket bar. Below that, you do have another brush box, again, for sprays, brushes, anything like that. For all the tack you can carry in this trailer, you're probably going to end up bringing a lot, lots of stuff for your horses, too. So we just kind of, again, more storage is always better, and with this front tack set up, you'll never run out of room. Again, it does mirror that other side with that piston swing out saddle rack. I showed you guys that big piston that kind of, what it does is it cushions it, you let that go, and it cushions it from banging against that wall. But when you're pulling it out, you're not having to pull against a spring or anything like that. You get it started and it pulls itself out. It's really handy. Here on this head wall, you'll notice this trailer does have full drop down windows. Cool thing is, is you don't see it a lot, but there is actually a drop down on your escape door. I think that is super handy just because a lot of times that first torch you load in there, it's just a tiny little bus window. The air doesn't really flow around the trailer that well to that bus window right there. So that horse ends up lacking a lot of air in there. By making this a full drop down, you're giving that horse just that much more air and he's going to be that much more comfortable. Cimarron's windows, I love them because they're super easy to operate. And I'll show you guys the escape door here. So there's an escape door on this trailer. I really like having escape doors on this trailer just because uh, it gives you the option to carry more stuff. A lot of times you're buying a four. I just had someone here the other day that said, I only got one horse right now, but we're always going to buy more horses. And if not, we're always going to be carrying more stuff. So I think it's super awesome that you have a stud stall with an escape door. This allows you to throw generators in there, stack hay in there if you want to stack hay in there. That way you're not dirtying up your truck bed, putting hay in your truck bed. Another thing it does is it allows you to like hose off in here. You can run a hose from your water tank in there to the back and hose jeans off, hose clothes off if you're muddy. Just a lot of versatility in this trailer. Again, these are extra large drop down windows. They do operate super easy. They're super heavy windows. You can almost shake this whole trailer and the truck it's hooked to just by jerking on the windows. In the middle of that drop down, there is a sliding type, just kind of like you see everywhere else. You can slide that if you want that airflow. You can drop it like it is currently, or you can shut it just as easy. Again, we like giving you guys options. You have the options to really control how comfortable your horses are in this trailer. If it's not super hot, you maybe just run your slider window. If it's really hot, you drop it down. If it's cold out, you can close this trailer up. The insulated roof in this trailer is going to keep the temperature really warm in there for your horses in the winter, and then in the summer, it's also going to help them keep them cool. Another thing I like is that making this trailer seven, uh, six wide and not full eight is you still have a little bit of running board here. The reason I like that running board is because it gives you the ability 
So when you get where you're going, you can drop your jail bars and you can untie your horses off this running board. It gives you a place to stand. You can check on your horses, feed your horses, and untie your horses super easy. I talked about feeding your horses a little bit. On the inside, I'll show you kind of where we feed them. But this trailer is equipped with mangers. And what these mangers allow you to do is feed your horses on the inside, but it also gives you so much more storage on the outside. You have your large manger door right there, which again is super handy. I always think people end up stacking their buckets right here because there's no wheel well in the way. You can get two sets of buckets here all the way to the ceiling if you guys want. Again, just adding a bunch of storage for you guys. So you end up with three mangers doors, that one large one, and then these two smaller sized ones. The reason we make these smaller and we can't make them all large is because if you look in these smaller mangers or you just did, there is a little bit of wheel well that goes into there. So you have a little bit harder time putting buckets in there. That's why I like why we really put that big one on here is because it gives you more room to put buckets and you can put your grain back here, you can put hoses back here, plugs back here, boots back here, your smaller stuff in these smaller mangers. This trailer is also equipped with a broom closet. A broom closet, again, it's super handy for putting whatever you need in there. Sometimes you have extra long bridles or you got slickers in here to keep you out of the rain. It just gives you that extra hanging length, extra hanging space. But again, it gives you more storage space too. Again, if you have more buckets and more tack, you always need a place to put it. And this gives you the option to put brooms in here, brushes in here, you know, everywhere you're going, someone's always got a rake, a uh, cleaning rake, a cleaning broom or something. They got it ran through a D ring or something running down the road and it's rattling around, it's scratching their trailer up. I'm putting this, everything's got a place to go and it's keeping your trailer looking nice. Here on the back side of this trailer, we do have a single gate. I like having a single gate because if you have a horse that's not super used to, you know, to loading in a smaller, like a 60-40 setup or a 50-50 setup, they're gonna be really, real happy with this. They can jump in here real easy. It gives you more space to load your horse. It gives your horse more space to load. It just kind of makes everything run a little easier. The thing I also like about running a full rear gate is you can throw a ramp on this trailer super easy. And it's, I mean, it's gonna look really flashy to have a ramp on this trailer too. And that's something we can do here if you wanted a ramp or if you have a trailer at home you're thinking maybe you want a ramp on, we can do that for you guys here as well. Of course, this is a Cimarron trailer. So it's built on, you know, the industry's best floor. This floor is built on four inch centers. By having a four inch center, no matter where a horse stands on this floor, they're gonna be standing over a direct support beam. That way they're not in between support beams and this floor is that just more stronger. Your horses aren't gonna to have to worry about weak spots in this floor at all. Up inside this trailer, pretty much anywhere your horse can touch to about tail head leather level, it's gonna be kick matted all the way around. It's about a quarter inch thick, really hard rubber. Now if you have horses that kick or paw or something like that, they're not hitting the metal or the aluminum on this trailer. They're just hitting this kick mat. And all the trailers I've seen, I've rarely seen a horse tear this kick mat off here. Sometimes they'll chip away at it, which does happen, but it's super easy to repair in a trailer like this. You can either coat it and seal it, or you can just replace a section of mat. It's super easy. We went ahead and the dividers in this trailer, we went ahead and padded these dividers, make it a little more comfortable for your horses. You don't necessarily need padded dividers in a trailer, but they kind of add a little flash and, you know, if you're spending a lot of money for a trailer on, with options like this, I mean, this trailer is pretty much loaded up with options. Why not put padding in here for you guys? It's something we can do in trailers that you have on order. If you're thinking about ordering a trailer, we can always add padding for you guys, or we can always take padding out for you guys if that's something you guys don't like. Here is that stud stall I was talking about. It is a full length stud stall. Again, it kind of keeps whatever you're stacking in there fully isolated from your horses. That way you don't have hay or buckets or anything rolling underneath your horses and tripping them up. Maybe scuffing their hawks or something going down the road. Again, you see just how much more storage space you have up there. If you're only hauling three horses, you have pretty much a whole nether eight foot by what, three and a half foot to store stuff. It's really useful to have a stud stall in a trailer. But another thing we went and did, instead of extending this stud stall all the way to the floor, there's about a four, four and a half inch gap right here. And what that does is it gives you the ability to use shavings in this trailer without dragging them back and forth with your divider. Typically you have shavings and the divider goes too close to the floor and you end up dragging. You can't open your divider all the way, you end up big piles of shavings everywhere. This allows you to efficiently still use shavings. 
the mangers I talked about a little earlier. So on the outside, we kind of showed you how those mangers give you a lot of storage on the outside. But what they also do is this trailer is extra wide, so you have plenty of room for your horses, and it gives us the ability to bring the wall outside, well, not the wall, but build another wall in here and give you guys a feeding space. Super easy to feed your horses right there. And that way they have a place to eat. They're not getting tangled up in, you know, hay bags, hay nets that you're hanging from the ceiling. They have a nice aluminum surface to eat off. It's going to keep clean really easy. You can just pretty much spray it out and there's a drain in this end and they'll drain right to the ground. I'll actually show you guys the drain. So yeah, if you get grain in here, hay in here or whatever and it gets kind of gunky, you can just spray it out and it'll all run back to this hole and drain to the ground. The roof in this trailer, like I talked about, it is insulated. It's a honeycomb insulation. So what it does is it pretty much, it just keeps this trailer a little bit warmer in the winter and a little bit cooler in summer, about 20% each way. Uh, it also is a bowed roof. And what bowing the roofs do is it just allows the water to run off this trailer versus sitting up there and eating at your seals. A lot of the times uh, trailers will have a flat roof and the seals make a little lip on the edge of the trailer so that water doesn't have an easy way to get off and it'll just sit up there and you know, water's the most destructive thing on this planet. And what it does, it'll just start eating at those seals, it'll crack at those seals, and pretty soon you end up with leaks all over your trailer. With this trailer, you're not gonna have to worry about it because all the water will run off. On top of that, Cimarron is one of two trailer manufacturers that uses a special sealant on their roofs. Typically, you have to start worrying about your roof cracking and needing resealed about four, five, six years down the road. With Cimarron, you're probably not gonna have to worry about that for about 10, nine or 10 years. It's about double the life of the sealant that Cimarron uses. But another thing I want to talk about is the latch system of Cimarron trailers. A lot of people are weary because it is a plastic latch on a metal clasp. Um, we have never had a problem with them breaking. We actually have the opposite. We have less problems with these than we do with metal latches. And the reason that is is because this mechanism is plastic, this is metal. If they were both metal, they would rub and grind together. Um, with the rubbing and grinding, you end up with a little space that starts building. And if you get rattling enough going down the road, eventually, it's going to rub enough that it's going to fall out of there. Then you're going to have to either replace the latch or replace the cl clasp because that metal just keeps wearing on each other. With plastic on metal, the plastic doesn't wear the metal out as much and the metal doesn't wear the plastic out as much and it's also a super quiet ride for your horses. It's a super cool latch system and we've never had a problem with it. On this bigger gate, we do not run a butt bar on a bigger gate. We do run just this strap. The reason we won't, wanna, won't run a butt bar is because that's kind of a big distance for a butt bar to fall and clear out of the way of the back of your horses. So by using a strap, you can unclip it, and if a horse tries to back out in the middle of it, it just falls out of the way. It's not getting hung up and over there in the door and giving your horse a place to get a leg caught behind, maybe hurt himself or hurt you. Again, on this big gate, we do, again, we have it kick matted. Your last horse in that stall, he's gonna have that kick mat too, so you're gonna have to worry about denting up that back door of this trailer. And you're not gonna have to worry about scratching up the aluminum on that trailer either. Up above, we do have a six inch awning light. And again, we just have you know your brake lights and your load lights, but that is a six inch awning light. Again, give you more light while you're loading your horses. The more you can see, the less that can go wrong. And we'll work our way around to the tail side. On the tail side of this trailer, it kind of mirrors that head side and the fact that we have an awning light up top, an awning light over the door. But on this tail side, it is bus windows. They are larger bus windows than normal, so you can slide those open. And again, it kind of pulls that air through. If you have all your doors dropped on your uh, head side over there with your uh, drop downs, opening these tail windows, it'll kind of pull that air through over your horses, keep them nice and cool, and then it just keeps recycling that fresh air for your guys' horses. Another thing I want to point out is we do have button lights. You probably can't see them because we don't have the truck turned on that we're hooked up to. But there's button lights that run the whole top rail of this trailer on both sides. This trailer is going to look really sharp going down the road with those pin button lights. You also do have four tie outs on this tail side. You have four on your head side also that I forgot to point out. But again, we're just giving you the options to, with these double door setups, tack rooms like this, you're going to be saddling off both sides eventually. You're either going to be swung out on this side saddling right here. We want you guys to have light to do that. But on the other side, you're going to be swung out saddling over there sometimes too. So that's why we went ahead and put those larger type, uh, you know, 16 inch awning lights over each end of this trailer. As far as what this trailer is riding on, again, it is aluminum wheels. These are two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. 
They're super awesome axles, but one thing I want to point out is you'll notice there is a green cap. What that means is these tires are nitrogen filled. If you've ever lived in a place like Colorado, something like that, where your nights can end up, you know, getting down into the below freezings, and then sometimes your days, like today, we're going to end up being a high of 65 with a low of 25, 30. Your tires can end up fluctuating pretty well. Um, they'll be filled to where they need to be the day you're riding them and then you put, park it for that night and you come back out the next morning and it's colder out and they've dropped 20 PSI. Putting this nitrogen in there, what that does is it kind of keeps that fluctuation limited. You don't end up getting the massive pressure drops with your temperature changes. Cool thing about them are, or is, is that if you do end up getting a flat or needed to throw some air in them, you don't need to put nitrogen in them. You can always fill them back up to where they need to be with air, and then when you take it to your dealer or your tire center, they can fill it back up with nitrogen for you guys. Or if for some reason you don't want to have to deal with filling them up with nitrogen, you completely empty them and just start filling them with air if you guys want to as well. So again, it's a super sharp, extra tall, extra wide four horse. We kind of loaded it up with options. It's probably one of my favorite tack setups I've ever seen on a trailer. If you're interested in this trailer, the stock number on this trailer is 5N201008. Again, it's a 2021 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. It's extra tall, extra wide, loaded up with options. We do have some more trailers rolling in that are kind of set up like this with a similar tack setup. So if you're interested in some of them or you're interested in this trailer, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name is Tanner at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.